You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, Mary Magdalene at Jesus' Feet, Part 2. Her brother was dead. Mary and her family were Jesus' intimate friends while he walked this earth. But Mary's brother, Lazarus, had fallen sick and died. Mary was distraught, but four days later, Jesus brought her brother back to life. It was a miracle that set into motion several major events during the Savior's last days. Just a week before Passover, Jesus visited his friends in Bethany once more. One evening, there was prepared a supper for him and his disciples at the house of Simon, a Pharisee whom Jesus had cured of leprosy, Mark 14.3, Luke 7.36. Mary had brought an alabaster box, within which was a very expensive, fragrant oil that she intended for the Savior. As the men sat, Mary, weeping in gratitude, broke the box and poured the oil over Jesus' head and feet, wiping them with her own hair. It was an act of extreme love and reverence, one reserved for a future king. But as the pungent scent filled the room, Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, objected, pretending offense that the money used to buy the gift was not given to the poor instead, John 12, 5, 6. The other disciples began to agree. As for Simon, Jesus saw only disdain in his heart, Luke 7.39. Mary must have been mortified. She had meant to honor her Lord, but now her gift was seen as extravagant impropriety. But before she could flee, Jesus turned to her. He marked her actions as ones that poured out from a heart of overwhelming gratitude. Her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much, verse 47. What Mary had done was even more significant than she realized, for she had anointed the Savior for his burial, Mark 14, 8. The deed bound her heart to him, strengthening her devotion and faith for the days to come, and Jesus wanted us to remember it, verse 9. The love that compelled Mary to this act is the appropriate response to the love our Savior bears for us sinners, to his act of dying on the cross that we might live in him. If you had been at the table with Jesus, would you have viewed Mary's act as strange or even inappropriate? What is your response to the Savior when you think on what he has done for you? Our key Bible text today comes from Matthew 26, 13. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman hath done, be told for a memorial of her. Matthew 26, 13. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.